It's Chippy here from UMC Portal. We've got uh, Windows 8.1 on the Acer W510. This is the uh, the release version on the 17th of October. I've also had it uh, on a couple of other devices, but uh, in this demo, I just want to show a couple of uh, things. Actually, just one thing: Facebook app, which is pretty good, pretty well done. They've done a good job at. Uh, making it fit the screen, making it work in various uh, modes uh, and in various um, screen areas. So, for example, here's the app here. Just try and get that nice and uh, stable for you with three columns here. And you've got access to page management, your groups and uh, events and your uh, and the map stuff as well is all working quite nicely. So just allow it to have my position and then it's going to show, oh, there you go, automatically it tweets near me on the map. Um, it's working in three column mode in uh, landscape orientation, but if we switch that to portrait orientation, you'll see that switch to a single column mode now. And uh, it's a really nice, easy read uh, format that has scaled really well. If you want to have a look at the equivalent on Internet Explorer there. You've got the three columns, um, but of course they all scroll together. Um, the other thing about this is that you don't get any sharing facility. So, for example, if I open a, a picture here, um, if I can just bring that up, you well, what I would like to do is go to the share bar and share the picture. What you can't do is that because what it does is just share the URL. So if we go back to the app itself and um, I just have a look at a picture, what we can do is bring up that charm bar and we can share uh, a direct link to that uh, post or that uh, picture there. So um, there is uh, a couple of things missing from the app. Uh, firstly, you can't manage your own groups with the app. There's no way to do that. Um, there's also no way to edit your posts on the app. So if I go to one of my previous posts, the recently added edit feature for a post is not available. You can delete or you can hide it, but you can't uh, edit it. You also can't change whether it's a public or uh, sent to a specific group from this app. You'd have to go into the uh, browser to do that. The other thing that uh, I think is actually really surprising that it's miss missing. Let's just go to a photo under a Windows 8 uh, app and let's say we want to share that to Facebook. We just go to the share charm but it's not there. I can share to Fresh Paint or to Evernote or to Twitter, show social job, but I cannot share to Facebook. So that is uh, actually really uh, quite a serious problem I think with, with the app. You always start with the photo and then go to sharing from that. You don't start with Facebook and go Okay, I remember I had a nice photo that I want to share. It works the other way around. So Facebook have uh, missed a trick oh, in that respect. It uh, works um, with um, the lock screen as well. So it will show notifications on the lock screen. And in connected standby mode as well, it should, although I haven't tested, it should be able to send notifications when the device is off. So if you've got a 3G tablet, let's think about the 8-inch tablets that are coming up. Uh, in the near future, with 3G, um, it will be nice to have that in the connected standby mode, and that is that uh, effectively off, but uh, Metro is still running. Um, but to be able to receive uh, notifications um, as that happens, there's a Twitter notification. I haven't actually seen a Facebook notification come in while I'm here. But that's the Facebook app, really uh, quite nicely done. I love the way that they've managed the space in both um, portrait and um, in landscape mode here. Let's just bring in a second app. Uh, let's bring in the news app. We'll put that to the side there. This is switching now to a single column mode. I can just move that over there. So we've got uh, two thirds. It's still single column. And then we can go to full there. Of course, this screen isn't wide enough for me to have three side by side. So, Facebook app on Windows 8.1. If you haven't got Windows 8.1, make sure you've done all your updates uh, and then go to the Windows Store and you should see it automatically appear there. The download for closed trail devices uh, and install can take up to four hours. That's how much it took me to install on uh, the Samsung 8500T. Uh, on this, it took about two to three hours. 
um, but it's quite a long process so be prepared to uh, to uh, have a decent connection you've got about three gigs to download and then about an hour and a half to install after that good uh, umpcportal.com is where we're reporting on the Windows 8 tablets and the uh, the new Baytrail tablets that will be coming up soon. So stay tuned on that. I'm also at Chippy on Twitter. And please, if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube, cha YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.